I think Josh shatters teacher stereotypes. You can talk to him about stem cell, but he can sp speak about Wu-Tang Clan at the same time. One of the things that I've been working on is trying to figure out what's important to them, uh, whether they're bringing up a song or a TikTok that they recently saw, and how does that relate to what we're learning in class? And right, so what characteristic of the sun membrane is that representing? The flexibility. Yeah, flexibility, fluidity. During the pandemic, it was really a challenge to kind of get kids together and work with materials. And so I collaborated with the New York Stem Cell Foundation to um, start this program to engage uh, underrepresented high school students in this new field of stem cell research. They spend a week uh, learning about stem cell research through lectures and hands-on experiences. And then they get to spend two days in the lab actually working with material, working with scientists. For most of my students, this was the first time that they were in a professional scientific space. That exposure um, allowed them to see what the potential possibilities were. So the reason why I brought you to this specific lab is because I actually had the opportunity to work here uh, for two summers, and I was uh, using stem cells to uh, work on some potential treatments for uh, Parkinson's disease, uh, which is really important to me and my family because uh, my grandfather uh, suffered with Alzheimer's, which is another brain disease, right? So. And some of them were like, actually, I have a family member with dementia. Like, do they do work on dementia here? And I was like, yeah, I think it's really powerful for you to use your personal experiences. When my students recognize that they can have an impact in, in participating in this science, um, I think it really allows them to see the power that they have if, if they're able to pursue fields like this. He finds a way to really make it about the community. So if you're learning about glucose, you're going to learn about diabetes in the black and brown community, right? Making these connections with students helps them see how the science is directly related to their everyday experiences. And then how do we use these things to then make an impact on our community, um, to teach our relatives or to teach our community members about this science so that they can live a healthier, happier life. I'm a proud graduate of New York City Public Schools. They see a highly motivated professional, black, young person that comes from their environment and they want to emulate and they look up to him.